We are here. Yes, sir. My man. Frain vibes, but don't forget. The Z. Cannot. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's, the, it's the easiest letter to remember. It's the last yeah. one. Right. And the best one. And it's the coolest one. I remember, right. like, being a kid, uh -huh. Z was fun to, like, when you practice Z. Right, right, right. And A was like, eh. But Z's like, oh, I can go like this. Yeah, especially when I was practicing cursive. Yeah. There was always a Z that I could just loop. Okay, this yeah, one I want to ask you that. Okay, okay. Do you know how to do cursive? Yeah. Okay, because I feel like that's a lost, like it's a lost art these no, days. No, no, I know. Okay. I, yeah, yeah. You're I, raised I right, my man. Yes, yes. Okay, we got to start with this. We're at Lollapalooza. Yeah, absolutely. You performed here last year. Yes, I did. You're from Chicago. Right, right. Man, how does that feel? How did, did that feel? Your hometown, the mm -hmm. biggest festival in your hometown. What was that What was that Man. whole entire day like? It was everything. Yeah. You know, I, I went to high school in Fenwick in Oak Park. Um, and so whenever I would be getting ready to for the summer and I would see the lineup of Lollapalooza, my friends would be like, oh, my God, Playboy Cardi. Oh, my God, this artist, this artist. And seeing my name yeah. on that lineup one Ooh. day. It was just so in the like the color yeah, of yes. the, the, the schedule that yes. comes out, and, and then like, you get That's the you me. get the you get the email from Lollapalooza saying, "Oh, posted on this day." It's like, what? It's happening. This is unreal. So yeah. it meant everything. That's cool. Well, that was last year. Yeah, lots happened between now and then. Yes, talk about that. Like, how how have you grown? You got like new music that you put out yeah, since then too. Yeah, yeah. Which, first of all, mm -hmm. take it easy. Thank you. Damn. Thank you. So good. Thank you so much. Like I heard it. It was like it was an instant like. Yep, I get yeah, it. Good, sometimes, good. I mean, I, I'll be honest. I try to be diplomatic. There's some songs you hear and you're like, I'm gonna. It's gonna take me another listen okay. to like right. get it. Right. But that right. one was like an instant one for me. Oh wow. So so Man. so the new music. That's yeah. part of it. Yes. The how's the reaction been? It's been amazing. You know, dropping music for the first time. There's there's always that little like worry. Like, oh, yeah. How do people feel? I know I got everybody in my family, my friends around me, and meeting people, introducing the music to them, and they're like, this is great, this is great. But then you put it out, especially for my first release, you know? Yeah. yeah. There's that worry. But people have loved it. Yeah. I, I, I truly, like, not even trying to flaunt for the camera or any of that, yeah. people love the song. Yeah. And I, it, it means a lot, because that's what I do this for. I want to do music that helps people get through tough situations. So... For people to come to me and say, hey, this song, it remind me back in this day when I was out with my girl or like it's moments like that. Why I love music. Uh -huh. What made you so positive? Like what brought that into your life? Because you seem like a very uh, your energy is very positive. So Man. was it your parents? Was it just who you're surrounded by or is it just you? So obviously I have to give it to my parents first and foremost. Yeah. But in high school, I had a lot of growing pains. Um, I didn't feel I wasn't. I, I, I didn't want any part of the status quo or the drama. Yeah. Um, and I was really being judged for being myself. Uh, and so Talk about music, that. What do you mean? Why, why, yeah, why, so, why were you judged? So I was really into games, anime. I, I wasn't all the way into sports like that. And I was, mu I was doing music. I literally had like the braces. I was in percussion band. I was that kid, okay? Yeah. Um, so I had a lot of growing pains. And growing up, uh, so I was in a very predominantly caucasian neighborhood right yeah. so being there and i talked proper mm -hmm. um kids that are around me mm -hmm. mostly caucasian uh they were like why are you talking so proper and then kids that look like me were like why don't you talk like us yeah um so i i couldn't find my place yeah. in high school uh but music gave me that safe place that therapy that outlet to really just be like okay put my headphones on ignore all that keep going yeah you're in your own lane you're exactly. not this you're not that you're you exactly right exactly i love that man exactly. okay so this is what we're seeing today Lollapalooza. we're talking about SZA earlier. right yeah, yeah you said you loved her in high school yes who are some other shout out some other artists that kind of like molded you as a music fan who's who's like an inspiration Ooh. okay so in high school it was joji kuko claro oh. Um, Keshi, yeah. Um, obviously, we said SZA, yeah. Uh, Travis Scott, Drake, uh, Kendrick, um, and then on the more like alternative but pop side, I yeah. was listening to The Neighborhood. Yeah. Um, I was yeah. listening to Brandon Yuri and Panic at the Disco. Um, very heavily into We the so Kings. So your playlist is scattered. <laughs> it's all, it's over, all the place. over the place. It's all over. And then I'll go to like Sugarland for country or yeah, something like yeah, that. Yeah. Casey Musgrave. So I'm all over the place. Oh, yeah. I'm all over the place. That's, that's what music's all about. Yes. It really is. Yes. I, feel, I feel like we're getting away from the, let's put somebody, you know, let's pigeonhole somebody because you're this type right, of artist or exactly. this type of music. It's all blending together. I mean, here in Kiss FM, right. like we're playing country pop. Right. Day, and then we'll play Kendrick. Like, mm -hmm, it's, mm -hmm, and I, and mm -hmm. I just think that that's, yes. if it's good, right. people are going to like it. Right, right. That's it. That's, that's the whole point. You're good. Your stuff is good. Thank you. Yeah, man. What do you want to manifest? What do you want to happen for you? 
man I just want to make music that helps people. Okay. So whatever is along that path that helps people get through those tough situations, just like I said, that yeah. the same way in high school, music helped me. Yeah. I want to do that for others. Yeah, yeah. So whatever's on that path, mm-hmm. that's what I want to do. You said you went to, or maybe somebody was telling me, mm-hmm. was it Loyola? Yeah, I went to Loyola, Edgewater. S- sister, sister Jean? Yeah. 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 Were you there for all that, like that craziness that went down, or were you there so that before you or after you? I was the year before. Okay. No, no, I was the year after. So the craziness of March Madness. Yeah, yeah. And then I was the fresh. Okay, was freshman so you year. just missed it. Just missed it. But it's it. still crazy. But it was the hype of it. It was still, yeah. so everybody was like, well, "Oh my god, we're gonna." <laughs> now we're like, "We got Sister G. We got right, the team. Right. Like, it's gonna be big." Right, right. That's fun. Yeah. Well, how was your experience there? So, at Loyola, yeah, it was crazy because I sort of had a moment where, man, it was, coming from high school. It's okay, fresh new slate. Yeah, let's do it. I get there and it's like, oh, it's a little bit more of the same. Mm. So I sort of went back into my shell a little bit. Yeah. Um, but again, in college is when I was really getting into my music heavily. I was producing. I was going back and forth between here and L.A., working with Cosign. Um, and so I was sort of living like a double life between school and music. That's crazy. Flying back and forth. Wow. Um, so again, music was pushing me through it yeah. all. Yeah. So this is it, man. You, you made the career decision. Yes. All systems go. All systems. What do we What do we got coming up here in the near future? So right now that you can tell us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So right now, obviously, take it easy, and then more music is coming up, and then I'm working on uh, getting together a few like special collaborations that okay. I can't talk about. Okay. Um, and then obviously a tour following that and then the ep and all that stuff my so. man dude make chicago proud we'll we need do. it we we'll need do. it the we'll city do. needs it it's my man the positivity the city needs <laughs> frame vibes don't hey. forget the z thanks for hanging out buddy thank you so Appreciate much it. love it